please, if you're enjoying the content, guys, leave a like on this video and please subscribe to the channel as well. We've got Rafinha, Trailblazers. The card looks insane. He's very expensive, but the card, as I said, does look crazy. Are you tired of having a terrible team on FC25? Well, today I have a solution for you. Welcome to LootBar.gg, the cheapest place to get your coins. Not only are they 8 to 10% cheaper than other competitors, they're also a lot cheaper than FC points. And on top of that, they also give you 5% extra coins with every order. Also, plenty of creators are using LootBar. LootBar's reviews are also excellent. They also offer a really fast delivery service, getting you your coins within 30 minutes. And make sure when you are buying your coins that you use Viper at checkout to get an 8% discount. Make sure to go to the pinned comment or the description of this video to get your coins from Loot Bar. So arguably the most informed player in world football right now has got a Trailblazers SPC and of course it's very very expensive. Nine segments for him like three 87s, two 86s and then 85s and 84s. So it is relatively reasonable even though it is insanely expensive. I feel like a lot of you guys could work towards this. It's just going to be a case of if he is worth it or not. He is four star, four star, five foot nine, and explosive accelerate type. In terms of his roles, as a right mid, he can play as a wide playmaker plus. He's got some other ones there that we don't really care about. As a right winger, he has got wide playmaker plus as well, and inside forward plus plus. And left wing, he has got inside forward plus, which is exactly where we're playing him because he is left footed. And guys, you know, Travellers are absolutely busted on this game. So that is why we have got him at left wing. Let's take a look at the play styles now. So. Wow, guys, honestly, wow. He has got finesse, power shot, very, very overpowered on this game. Tiki Taka Plus, which is a big addition to the card. He doesn't have it on his other cards at all. And this is a really overpowered play style, in my opinion. He's got Trickster, which is brilliant for them fake shots. Flair, which is actually relatively useful this year, especially when you combine it with Tiki Taka Plus for the kind of back heels and stuff if you are kind of running into trouble. He's also got Rapid Quick Step. And Relentless. This card is wild in terms of playstyles. Now, in games, he has got very, very good pace, 93 and 94. So no weird splits there. Good shooting. Might need to boost it, though. I don't know what the kind of meta is with shot power. I remember a few years ago, if you had too high shot power, you couldn't do the loop in Travellers. I don't know if that is exactly the same this year. But he's got okay attack positioning and shot power. Low long shots and finishing. So we are going to have to boost that. His passing is O. Okay, 84 vision and crossing, 82 short pass, okay long pass for the player he is, and good curve at 85. His agility at 91 is awesome, his balance is a little bit low at 82, good reactions, very good ball control and dribbling, and a bit low on the composure side of things, but I don't think it's really going to matter with this card. He's also not bad in the air, he is 5 foot 9, so not really going to win a lot of headers, but 88 jumping and 85 heading accuracy is good. 92 stamina with relentless silver, wow, 70 strength and 80 aggression. Chem style for this card. I think the most obvious one is the one I actually suggested right there. I think it's going to be a Deadeye, guys. So with the Deadeye applied, he's going to get a massive boost to the passing in the right areas, which is going to really play into that Tiki Taka Plus again. So he goes up to 92 vision and 94 short pass, which is a massive, massive boost. 95 attack positioning, 90 finishing, maxed out shot power, and 87 long shots with also 86 penalties. I personally think that's a great boost for this card. We are going to be playing him as the inside forward plus on attack at left wing. So let's get into a few games and see what he can do. Here is game one now coming up with Trailblazers Rafinha. And let's see what he can do. All right, guys, here we go with Rafinha. This guy's got a really, really stinky team. And I'm not going to lie to you. Even though I do love FIFA, I am ready to get on to Black Ops 6 for the evening. Are you guys going to be playing Black Ops 6 as well? Let me know in the comment section. But yeah, let's see what this Rafinha can do. This guy's good, by the way. This guy seems like he is good. Even though he's got a stinky, stinky team, I feel like if he's doing stuff like that, you know, it looks ridiculous what he's just done. That's nice from Rafinha. You see that right there as well, guys? That Tiki Taka coming up Trump straight away. He feels very, very, very responsive. I thought I might be able to get that through there, but not going to happen, sadly. Back into him here too. Pace burst feels good. Very nice. And because of that Tiki Taka as well, guys, when you get down to there... If you can find that cut back, it's GG's. It is GG's every single time. Where is he sitting here? Is he deep? Where is he? I thought he'd be quite close here, but I don't want to try a pop volley with him. Here he is. Ooh. Okay, so his dribbling, even though he doesn't have technical, his dribbling felt really, really nice there. Ooh, oh, good fighting. Good fighting. Oh, he just can't get in. That's a bit unlucky. A bit unlucky there, guys. 
It's not been a bad start to the game, of course, as I say. I think this guy's actually quite good. He's moving his keeper and all sorts. So even though his team's a little bit stinky. Ooh, nearly got through again. I'm trying to sprint boost through that gap there. Just couldn't get it off. Rafi again. Good sprint boost. Here it is. Here it is. Good Tiki Taka pass. And it's going to be 1-0. The power of Tiki Taka Plus cannot be understated. I told you guys, man, that Tiki Taka Plus was going to be really, really helpful for this card. Especially with the position we're playing him. His ability to get down the line. Find the cutbacks. It's basically like FC24. I didn't aim that there. But yeah, it's basically like FC24. When you're looking for that cutback. And because he's so fast and he's got Relentless too. He is just going to be absurd. Let's try it. Let's try this. Oh, yeah. Oh, I couldn't get it off. I couldn't get it off. I want to try a few Travellers with him, of course, too. Oh, I didn't want that. I didn't want that. Here's Rafinha again. Oh, very nice. Very nice from Rafinha. Oh, unlucky, unlucky. Good. Tiki Taka pass again there, guys. I know it looks simple, but it is so, so, so helpful. Here he goes. That is good pace. It's great dribbling too. His L1 dribbling feels really good. I don't think his R1 is that good, but his L1 is very, very nice. I think it's because he's got tricks to silver. It means that he's got better L1 dribbling. You can really, really feel it. And so far, so good with this card. Get him running here. Sprint boost, and he's away here. You would hope he's away here. Oh, who's that catching him? Who was that catching him? I mean, he's done really, really well anyway. Oh my days, man. Wow. Bit unlucky not to get that ball through there. He did actually do really, really well, though, didn't he? Here he is. Oh, wow. His L1 dribbling is outrageous. Oh, He actually does feel relatively strong as well, which I wasn't really expecting. And there's that ball again, guys. And that's what I mean. I know we haven't scored there, but the Tiki Taka Plus allows him to do the cutbacks like his FC24. Oh, man. Oh, I didn't aim that there. Nah, the Tiki Taka is so useful. Go on, Rafi. Off you go, sunshine. Look at that pace, man. Oh, my God. He is going to be absolutely annoying to play against, this card. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, guys. Oh, my word, guys. This card is a joke. He, he's so expensive, but he is so good. Here is game number two now coming up with Rafinha. And in that first game, he was everything I kind of wanted and more. Nice, Rafi. That tiki-taka. Ooh, we got a bit lucky there. We've still got the ball, though. Here he goes. Oh, it's lovely from Rafinha. Oh, wow. This card is very, very impressive. Ooh. Oh, he's done well to keep the ball there. I don't know how he's kept it, but here goes Rafinha. It's nice, man. He's dribbling. Specifically, his uh, what? His L1 dribbling and his sprint boost are disgusting, man. Disgusting. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a goal. That's going in. Oh, my word. This Rafinha is insane, guys. He just is crazy good. Oh, that's a good run from him. Good pass from Rosicki, too. Hold on a minute here. Oh, 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 guys. <laughs> what? All right, guys, this is an insane card. He is absolutely insane. From his pace to his travellers to his general shooting as well, just crazy. And then you've got his passing, which isn't really the best, but because he's got Tiki Taka Plus, his passing does become really good, especially for them cutbacks that I've talked about. Almost wax lyrical in this video already. So we're not going to talk too much about his passing, but it's brilliant with that Tiki Taka Plus. Um, crossing, but you're not really crossing with him. You're looking to cut on the inside and then do the Traveller on his strong foot and my god guys his travellers are unbelievable he's also got crazy good power shots as well and of course you know the pace is just electric it's because he's got rapid and quick step silver and of course then the relentless means he's up and down that channel all game so if you want to look for the cut inside for the traveller you can if not you can go down to the byline and look for the cutback with the tiki taka plus and the very very good passing that he has got just doing them tiki taka passes dribbling wise his other one dribbling is pretty poo, if I'm being honest. But his L1 dribbling is unbelievable. So if you're trying to like push out for a sprint boost, but you don't actually decide to push out for it, his L1 dribbling you get there is unbelievable. I think it's strafe dribbling. But it's just crazy. It is just absolutely bonkers. And then physically, he does sometimes offer a bit of strength, but not really too often. This card is absolutely insane. And yeah, he's expensive. But my God, is he good, man. He is really, really good.